What's good guys? Rocket Ray here for another Fortnite adventure. Just going to play a bit of Team Rumble as I've been messing around with my heads up display, uh, a few of my settings for FPS and I've also... I've converted to firing myself. <laughs> as in I've turned off auto fire and aim assist. So you have to bear with me, and because I've muddled around with my heads up display, um, I may hit the wrong button from time to time. So Rumble is a great place, a really great place for practicing. Because you've got unlimited lives, you don't necessarily have to worry about the storm too much. And when I first started playing, that's all I would play was rumble, 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 until I got good enough. I was always scared to do like solos and duos in the beginning, because I was thinking, oh, am I not going to last two seconds, and I'm just going to lose all the time. And then it got to a point where I just needed more of a challenge. So here we go into Weeping Woods. More of it has emerged from the receding waters of the flood. It's very underrated by many, many players, but it's my favourite place to go because it's full of mats and there's a little treasure trove of goodies. You're always guaranteed at least a few good weps. Like in Rumble as well, most of the weapons are blue. But I do find you do get a lot of repeats. And here, uh, a couple of games ago, I managed to get two gold weapons out of regular chests. See what I mean by the repeats. Um, yeah, I had a gold burst AR and a gold tacky shot, which is amazing. shields and health. I mean it's great if I could have a game where I don't die but it's gonna happen unfortunately. So we're just practicing. I have found it's actually not as bad as I thought turning off the auto fire. Um as I thought it was gonna be. You can actually fire a lot quicker without it on. And I've gone from playing with two thumbs to claw and four fingers. So it's a big change for my game. I said I try to move everything in place in my HUD just so I can make things a little more accessible. It did take me a bit of time to try and figure out, and I have had other ideas off of a few other people online because I didn't know where to start. There is a whole load of chests in this building here as well. Did I not get the one upstairs? I got the one upstairs. I'm talking. <laughs> Do I have a good pistol? I get some good headshots on that with a pistol. And the rate of fire is pretty decent as well. I don't really want a flame gun, but I'll take it. I mean, you can just <laughs> set stuff on fire like that. I do tend to play a lot 
by myself so I don't really have a lot of epic friends and I'm of an older generation not middle aged or anything I oh, see this is like a terrible building um, a lot of the ones my age tend not to play so my friends I have not really gamers but it'd be interesting to pick some some epic friends up along the way. Get out the way. Groovy. I love an AR. It's got a really decent range on it as well. And quite a quick fire. I'm so going the wrong way. Why didn't you tell me? such a big deal in Rumble as I said because you come back who left oh, I'd still rather not die trying to perfect my game and that's what matters. I've been practicing my building as I said. I'm not quite confident enough to use it in game at the moment but I'm going into creative a lot and trying to get that down as best I can. Because it's the one part of the game that really does let my game down. Really, really let my game down. As you saw when you're trying to get up the inside just now. <laughs> it's all good. I'm only human. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, whatever. Lag. Blame it on the lag. place as well to try and train yourself to play the game right. Do you like to play against other players? Is it just it just shuts you into a deep end and I find you learn quicker when you're actually playing the game yourself. But for building I have been playing, as I said previously, with the aim assist and auto fire on. As 
because I did really struggle in the beginning with aiming. I mean, I'm not great now, but I get a couple of sandwiches on my team. It's quite a big difference without the auto fire. I am trying, alright? That's all I can do. All I can do. This is a pretty decent glider! It's going to be a fortnight day as well. Decent! I have my fire button too close to the map. <sighs> and I like the little building um, shortcuts as well because I'm rubbish when I try and do building. When they're all on the bottom of the screen, it's a little far to be able to do it quickly. And if you need to build, you need to do it quickly. Consciously trying to figure out where the fire button is. It's pressing the map every now and then. Yeah. Nurse. Nice. You shooting? How rude can you be? Really? Just because I killed your friend. It's 
no need for violence. Oh wait. Ah, we are winning. Not with much help from me. Ah, awesome. Have they changed it back to 100 kills now then? Is it back to 150 or 120? I'll put it back to 100. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Sorry about my rambling and that, but it's better I talk about gibberish than having a really boring silent video. Let's have a look at this. 23% accuracy. I've got to work on that. <laughs> anyway guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like button, hit that notification bell, and I shall see you on the next one. Hope you guys are staying safe, and as always, Take care of each other and have a great rest of your day. Bye guys! <laughs>